Welcome to this tutorial on how to enter grades in the Oaks Gradebook. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to enter grades using the column method and the spreadsheet method. And you should also be able to demonstrate how to release the final calculated grade to your students. So let's get started. I'm going to start in my Oaks class and I'm going to select grades in the upper navigation. And from that drop down, I'll choose grades as well. By default, it takes me to my manage grades area, which is where I go to create my grade book. I'm now ready to enter my grades and I do that by clicking on the enter grades link. It's the very first link on the left. And once I click on enter grades, this is my grade book. So the first way we're going to look at grading is through the drop down column menu. Now before I do this, let me preface this by stating if you use the Oaks quiz tool, the Dropbox tool, or the discussion board tool, and you attach those assessments to a column in the gradebook, then that grade that you put in the quiz, in the discussion board, and in the assignment will automatically be transferred into the gradebook. You don't have to re-enter those. What I'm going to show you today is how to manually enter grades into the gradebook. So the first method we're going to look at is the column method. The column method is my personal favorite because it allows me to see only what I need to see when I'm grading. So let's grade quiz one. From the drop down arrow next to quiz one, I want you to choose enter grades. In the enter grades area, it gives me a lot of stuff here at the top, but we're going to scroll down because what we really want to see is this section here at the bottom. Now, I have all of my students listed on the left, and then I have the grade area on the right so that I can type in whatever that particular student got. And I can even come over here under feedback and click on this pencil and leave them a message. So in this case, you can see that I've left two messages. Now, no one else can see these messages. Only the specific student that I've left it for can see this. So I've given them the grades. I've added feedback if I wanted to, and then I just need to choose save and close. Again, I like this view because it keeps me within this particular assignment. And now you'll notice that I have all of these grades in here. You'll also notice though I have this exclamation point and that I still don't have anything here in my final calculated grade. That's because when I made the quiz category, I told it to drop the lowest grade. Right now, they only have one grade in this category, therefore it's the lowest. If I repeat this process and add the second one, and then save and close, you'll notice that the gradebook looks a lot different. Now, it's showing me that it is still dropping these grades because the students did much better on quiz two. So these are still the dropped grades. This is the second quiz. I now have a subtotal for this category over here, and I have a final calculated grade that's showing that everybody's getting 100%, 98, 97. The next method you can use is called the spreadsheet view. Some people really love this method, but I find it for me to be a little bit overwhelming. So I'm going to click this button that says switch to spreadsheet view. And now you'll see that all of this is opened up to me. So when you operate in spreadsheet view, it's very similar to when we were just doing the specific column view. So let's say, let's give Zach a 43 on this, 33. So I've graded them here, and I now need to remember to scroll back over to the left and hit save. If I don't remember to hit save, then it doesn't save these values in my spreadsheet. So that's one reason why I don't like this view. The other is that I can't leave those comments like I was able to do when I was in the column view. And third, if I stay within this view all the time, I also can't see which grade was dropped. So I'm going to choose the save button here just so that you can see what it looks like now. So here you can see my grades are changing 
because I've added a new column. But again, I can't see I can't see that dropped feature. If I want to see it from the regular view, I can now click switch to standard view. And now I can see that the quizzes that are dropped are starting to shift a little bit. So that's sort of how you can see what's going on in here. So again, you have your column method, which is to choose the drop down, choose enter grades, whereas your spreadsheet view leaves it open all the time. So be sure to either use the browser that keeps these buttons located in the same spot or that you make sure that you go back and click that save button. The last thing I want to talk to you about in this tutorial is this final calculated grade and how you can release it to the students. So right now it's working and it shows that it is released to the students and I can tell because of that open eyeball. The reason I say it's working is because when I did my setup wizard, let me go into my settings here, when I did my setup wizard, I told it to release the final calculated grade to the student. And in the calculation options tab of my settings, if I scroll down, I can see right here, final grade released, calculated final grade. We have had occasion where even though you've checked that box, let me go to enter grades here again, even though you've checked that box, this final calculated grade is not released to the student. And you'll see this same eyeball icon, but with a line slashed through it, indicating that it is hidden, that they cannot see it. So I'm going to show you now how you can go through and release it if you are seeing that closed eyeball or that slashed through eyeball icon. Under Final Calculated Grade, you're going to choose the drop-down arrow and choose Enter Grades. Now from this area, this is where you can see that the word Released has check marks in it, indicating that all of these grades are released to the student. If I would like to unrelease them, so I don't want the students anymore to see their Final Calculated Grade, I'll choose this very top box to the left, and that selects all of my students. Be sure that you are looking at 200 per page or at least 100 per page so that you can get all of your students together. So I've checked this box and it's selected everyone. And now I can choose the release unrelease toggle. And when I do that, you'll see that it has unchecked all of these. And if I were to choose save and close now, you'll see the eyeball with the slash through it, indicating that the students cannot see their final calculated grade. Again, to get that back, I go to the drop down, I choose enter grades, check the box at the top left of my list of students, and click release, unrelease again to provide check marks in all of these boxes to the right, and then choose save and close. And now I have an open eyeball indicating that they can see the final calculated grade. So if you have a student that says, I can't see my final calculated grade, and you come into your grades area, and you see an open eye, then more than likely they just don't know where to look for it. If you see a closed eye, then they are correct. They cannot see their final calculated grade. So to recap, to enter your grades, you're going to go to Enter Grades in your gradebook. Choose either the switch to spreadsheet view or the drop down arrow next to the item you wish to grade and choose enter grades.